Hey everyone, this is Joellen with Jewelry Witch, and welcome back. This is part two of the, um, the video that I did last time, the, um, the container that I found, that I've had for a couple years, and we're going through it. We found all kinds of stuff, and I, um, found some gold the last time, so let's keep going. Let's keep going in this box, and, and this is what we have left. So it's getting to the bottom, but there's a lot of littles in here, and we're just going to see what's in here. So, moving on, moving on, moving on. Oh, I'm going to get dinged for that. Okay, so here is a ring, which never fits me. These rings never fit me. Okay. So it's really, really worn on the back. This is, um copper um it's really pretty so that's too bad um i'll throw that in a craft lot probably here's this lovely brooch um it does have a signature it says a v on it right there My son, Ethan, is in the kitchen right now, getting something. You want to say hi to everybody, Ethan? Hello. He says hello. <laughs> He's a lot less um, disruptive than ravioli is. <laughs> so, here is a blowfish brooch. That's kind of neat. Oh my gosh, is there something in this? Okay, is this more perfume? Let's find out. Oh, it's more perfume, you guys. More of that solid perfume that your grandma used to wear. Let me smell this. I'm going to smell this one. Holy crap. That smells awful. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> Whew, I just got to... It smells like um, my great grandma. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's mean, but it's, you know, it's, it's, it's what they used to wear back then. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Love you, Ethan. Good night. <laughs> I love that kid so much. He always tells me he loves me before he goes to bed. It's so nice. Um, so this is in really, really good shape. And like I said in the last video, people love that um, that they still have the perfume in there. Um, I'm not sure who made this. There's, I'm not seeing a, a stamp anywhere. I, yeah, nowhere. Hmm. But there we go. Okay, let's put that guy away. Alright, what's this? Uh, has a string on it. Um. That looks like sterling to me. Um, it looks like it was part of like a bracelet or a necklace. Um, but I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to test it um, at the end of the video. Okay, so this is a belt buckle, part of a belt buckle. That looks a little bit like Art Nouveau. Um, I hope the other one's in here. That would be cool. Here's a brooch. This is like plastic. And then Lucite in the middle. Cool. And then this one right here. I'm not sure what these stones are. They're real stones, though. There is no maker. It has a catch clasp. It's got some damage right there. Um, still, I would sell this and disclose the damage on the back. No one's going to see the back, so... Of course, it wouldn't sell for as much, but... Aw, how unfortunate that this is broken the way it is. I have a feeling this chain, this tiny dainty chain, is silver. These pearls... I thought it might be real, but I don't think they're real. I rub them together and they're smooth. Um... But this can be repurposed. I'm not even going to bother checking for silver on this one. 
There's a little barrette. It's a little, just a little plastic kid's barrette. That's neat. Um, here's a ring. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Oh, I'm sorry. I was off camera. I didn't realize it. So, he's got a little bit going on down there. You see that? What the heck? <laughs> I'm not sure what style this is. Oh, what's that? Does that say sterling? Yes, it does. That says sterling. So I have no reason to believe that it's not sterling, but I'm going to test it later anyway. Okay, let's check these out. Okay, these are some nice rhodium plated uh, clip earrings. They are marked Cheryl, Cheryl, C-H-A-R-E-L. Okay, they're lucite. These are lucite. Um, they have rhinestones. All the rhinestones. Oh, nope. See, I lied. One of the rhinestones is missing. Um, but those can be repurposed. They're not in great shape anyway in the first place. All right, let's see. We have these little daisies. It looks like that petal's a little bent, but there, I fixed it. Look at that. <laughs> it's um, enameled. These are riveted. Uh, signature. Do you have one? No, you don't. This looks like something art would make, but there's no signature, so. Um, that's really pretty. Here is another dragonfly brooch. This one is newer. This one's definitely contemporary. Um, it's missing a rhinestone there. Um, no signature. He will be repurposed. He will find new life on a collage somewhere. Here's a pretty shell, like a slice of a shell. I want to know how they slice the shells without breaking them. That's pretty cool. Oh, yes. So these are some of my favorite things. I collect these. So they're mechanical pencils. They are Victorian. Um, let's see if the lead's still in them. Look, the lead is still in it. I love it when the lead is still in it. Oh, my God. This one has, um, uh, like a ball chain and then a fob and then these two are real beat up. They got a lot of rhinestones missing. In fact, most of the rhinestones are missing. They're not, um, super high quality, but let's see. Okay. This one still has the lead. And I'm not sure what this is. What is this? Huh. Um, is this one a pen? This one might be a pen, and this one is a pencil. So that's really interesting. So those I will be adding to my personal collection. Even though they're beat up, I don't care. Because I think they're really cool. Okay. So here's a strand of pearls, and they're knotted. These are beautiful. Um, this says G Silver. Galvanized Silver? G Silver? Do you guys know what G Silver is? I don't know. Let me test these pearls. Um, they're not real. But they're really, really beautiful. This is beautiful. Yeah, I love this. Hmm. I'm not going to bother testing that clasp right now. Um, here's a brooch from the 50s. It's just a little one. It's very, very worn. That will be repurposed. It's missing a lot of rhinestones, I noticed, too. All right, now this is a real, real old one. So this, 
that clasp right there is quite old. Let me see if I can't pull it up a little bit to try to fit that pin in there. Like it doesn't, this is like a, it's got like the tube hinge there. It's not in that great of shape in the first place, but I just kind of want to tuck that pin in there. This is like um, beyond sellable. It's not sellable at all. All right. <clears throat> Anyways, it's got a lot of damage on the back. Like a lot of damage. It's pretty cool to see something this old though. Um, it appears to be missing something in the middle. This might be cr precious metal. I am going to test that for um, probably gold. Let's see what else do we have today. We have a very dainty little uh, pin with um, leaves and roses. Wow, that's really, really cute. Um, no markings whatsoever. Pretty sweet. Okay. We have a beautiful pair of cuff links. And I know a lot of people, um, don't do well on the cuff links. Um, but these look really nice. And look, they have the stones on the ends too and they're signed swank which is a very common name brand for men's um, accessories those are beautiful those are really beautiful I'm gonna uh, list those so here's another one of those snap things one of those um, cuff link or button things that we saw in the last video all right, let's see, here is a broken earring. This is probably 80s, maybe early 90s. Um, just really, it's broken. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Probably throw it in a craft lot. So this brooch right here looks a lot like the broken earring that we saw. Um, and it's not in the best shape. Um, I'm probably not going to try to resell it. I'll probably uh, repurpose it instead. Here is an earring. It is signed Napier. It looks like it might be silver. Um, it's quite tarnished. I'm going to test that at the end of the video. Okay, what else do we have? We have these very Texan earrings. Yeah, these are nice. Cool. I'd say these are probably from the 90s. Maybe 80s? 90s. I'm going to say 90s. I don't know. Um, those are pretty neat. Here is a nice flower brooch with some faux turquoise and a little pearl in the middle. I can't tell whether the pearl is real or not. Um, I don't think it's real. Um, on the back it is signed Sarah Coventry. That's really pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we have a bag with something in it. So let's find out what that something is. Oh wow. Look at this. What is it? Okay. Well, whatever it was originally had an $80 price tag. Ooh. There's something extra in here. What is this? It's a little tiny pendant with a garnet maybe in it huh not sure 
So that might be precious metal. I'm going to set that aside and test it. Um, this right here, let's get back to this. Okay, anything on here? It says 95 Indonesia. DBJ. You probably can't see that. Um, so let's take a closer look at that pendant. It's really pretty. It appears to be some sapphires. You can't tell, but they're actually this super dark blue. Um, on the back, it does say 95 DBJ. Hmm. Wow. Alright. Cool. So that probably really is silver. Um, I need to get a Presidium gem, gem tester still. Um, so I'm going to save this. Um, and I'll test the metal and the gems when I get the gem tester. So I'm going to set that aside. Um, let's see. What else? What else do we got? What's this? That's cool. Nice and simple. Just a brooch from the 80s. Really cool. I like those things. Um... Alright, so that's broken. There's some sort of carved plastic. What do you guys think? Hmm. I can repurpose them. Here's a little clown. So I'm going to set this aside and see if I can find the other, the other one in here at some point, I hope. Here's a really old piece of something with some rhinestones. Wow. I wonder what that went to. Well, that can go in a Tree of Life collage. It's going to look really cool when I'm done with it. And I will share when I'm done with my collages too. So this does not appear to have a mate in here. Um, so I will repurpose that as well. I dip, I'm probably going to do a bouquet, too. Um, here's a pendant that is just like that earring and that brooch that we found. Here's the brooch. Um, so, mm, I was poking around for the, for that earring, but I'm not seeing it. So, those will be repurposed anyway. Here's a really old, really old one. And I believe I saw this, the other one, in a different container that we already went through. But that's really beat up, and I'm going to repurpose that. Okay. Here we have a very patriotic um, brooch. This is a newer one. Still vintage, but newer. So that's nice. And then we have some more Lucite earrings. Um, these are screwbacks. They are rhodium plated. They're missing some rhinestones. So this will look nice in my Christmas tree collage. You guys, I have so many, so many ideas, like I said, and just not enough time. I have more ideas than I have time. Okay, so, these are beautiful. Oh, yes, they got some deco vibes, but I don't think they're from that era. They, they are pierced, um, but those are still really, really nice. Really nice. Really cool. Alright, let's take a look at these. What are these? There's one. There's the other. Um, they need a cleaning, which I can do. That's fine. Um, those turquoise 
cabs are um, plastic. Unfortunately, it's missing a post, um, but I can definitely reuse them. Here's a nice, pretty little bead with a, like a wire mesh cage around it. Here is a Heinz pickle pin. That's interesting. It's just a little plastic one. Neato. What does it say on the back there? Hong Kong? Okay, that's old. <laughs> Alright. We have this guy. This looks like precious metal to me, right off the bat. Um, it's just a nice, really nice filigree um, heart pendant. I am going to test this. For sure. I'm willing to bet that's sterling. Um, of course, I've lost bets before. So, Here's a brooch with a lot of missing rhinestones. I will repurpose that. Um, what's this? Okay. This is very, very small. This is a very small choker. Um, it is missing a rhinestone right here. I will repurpose this. Make something beautiful out of it. So you know that really big hat pin that we saw the last time? I have another one. Seriously. Look how cool that is. It's glass. Um, just really, really cool to find those. I like those. So here is a deco brooch. Um, this right here, is it missing any rhinestones? Just one right here. Um, it's too bad it's missing a rhinestone at all. So on the back you'll notice something really interesting. And some of you might have seen this before, some of you might have not. Um, let me see if I can... Oh no, one of those rhinestones just fell out as I was t picking at this. That stinks. Okay, so check it out, if I can open this. Oh, come on. So this is a brooch that you can turn into sweater clips, or like collar clips. Oh my goodness. I'm struggling with it too. Just like that. It pulls out of this little brooch thing. Just like that. Let's see? Okay. And then... It's kind of a pity that I'm wrecking it as I'm showing you this. Um, but give me a second. I need to put this in a bag. Alright, we're going to pack that away just like that, and I put that extra rhinestone down there. Maybe I'll find the other missing rhinestone in here somewhere. What else is in here? Let's see. Okay, so here's a bale. Here's a bale that says 925 on it. So that's neat. Here is a broken something or other. Um, that's really pretty. That is glass. Um, it's got these faux glass pearls that are kind of chipping on the sides. Um, that will end up in a collage. Let's see, what else is in here? So here's another brooch like that other one we saw. This one's also missing rhinestones, so this will be in a collage as well. All right, so this is all coral. Um, this is real co uh, coral, and I can tell you that right now. Um, here's the two earrings. 
They're not in bad shape, but... Mm. I think I will just um, reuse these, and I'm going to stick these in a bag, too. Alright, so we'll pack this guy away. Uh, what else? Alright. So, these are Sarah Coventry. They're little peaches. They look a lot like that apple that we saw before, but the apple was Avon. Um, those are really cool. And actually, I used to have the, the peach brooch. Look at this. How cool. That's beautiful. It's not technically origami, because in origami you don't cut anything. Um, I'm not sure what this would be called. It's, it's woven, um, and it does not have a, a match, but how beautiful is that? That's really, really neat. Wow. Okay. And I will definitely put that in something pretty. Here is a pretty single ceramic earring. Just a bunch of grapes. Um, we got a penguin. I believe this penguin is pewter. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that's pewter. And then there's this one with marcasite. Not signed. Pretty. What else? Okay. I thought at first this would be 1928, but it's not. It's Camco. And it says, God is love. God's, God's love is with you always. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice thought. Um, and then all the rhinestones are missing, though. So this will go in a collage. Here's a pretty little necklace. So I want to say it's cloisonne, um, but there is another technique that is close to, clois uh, to cloisonne. Um, there's a different name for it. And I can't think of it right now. I think Margaret from Texas Gal Treasures is the one that I learned that from. That this actually isn't technically cloisonne. But it's really pretty. Here is another lovely rose brooch with beautiful rhinestones. Um, this is marked Cheryl. Or Cheryl. However you pronounce that. Beautiful. Stunning. Let's see what else do we have here. We have all these rhinestone bits. Like these rhinestone earrings here. Okay. Let's pick up pick up the older ones first. So these are screw backs. Some screw back rhinestone earrings. Uh, not signed. Oops, come back. And then we have these ones, which are newer. And they go around the earring. I mean, they're around the earlobe. And because they're attached to the ear nut right there. Oh, come on. So, that's kind of a cool design. Let's see, what is this? It's a nice flower. Okay, here's another Giovanni. Giovanni brooch. Cool. I don't think that's silver or anything. 
Oops. All right, it's really pretty. Um, these are Napier screw backs and clips. They're both, and they're this navy blue color. And here's a nice little brooch. These look like they are probably real pearls. They're looking like it to me. Here's a lovely four leaf clover. Very sparkly. Kind of dirty, but I'll try to clean it. Really nice. I like that. And. Here's some little plastic earrings. Real simple. Pretty. And here's an earring here. I'm not sure if that's gold or not. I'm going to test that. It probably isn't, but I might as well test it. So, not sure what this was some sort of like oh it's some sort of like cufflink what does it say it says something in there made in something or other patent number blah 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 okay that doesn't help me I can't read it but it's in pretty bad shape so here's another screw back earring that has seen better days Here is a piece of Damascene that is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it was probably an earring, but it has also seen better days. Here's a similar uh, style. And here's another. So this one has little rhinestone moons in it, which is fabulous. It's looking like it might be gold, so I'm going to test that one. Let's see. We got a little tiny mouse. This is probably like the, four, like the fourth or fifth one I found. Which is cool, because I think they're cute. So let me just kind of dump these in here for you to see. Let me move this up and pick her up and dump her. Alright. My mainer is showing right now. Pick her up and dump her. <laughs> Alright, anyways. <laughs> um, wow, that's a really nice piece of porcelain, I believe. That's beautiful. It's just the sailboat scene. Some rhinestones. This will go in a rhinestone lot. Not much I can do with broken hoops like that. Um, these are just, just seahorses. Those are really cute. I think they're... They might be pewter. I think they're probably pewter. Here's just some broken rhinestone pieces. This right here is way too bright to be real gold, in my opinion, <laughs> from my experience. It's a beautiful piece of emerald, emerald uh, colored earring there. Um, here's more rhinestone pieces. These just don't have any mates here. Another one with no mate. And what's this? Another one with no mate. Let's put these over here because I think I see a mate for this one. Okay. This one has a mate. These are Sarah Coventry. Pretty. 
really pretty. Okay. What's this? Very nice. I like it. It will be repurposed though. Okay, we got some box some box clasps here. Let me just find them for you. Gosh, there's a lot of them. These are really cool. Um, let's see. I suspect that one's silver. I'm going to test that. This one, mm, that one's from Japan. That one's probably not. Let me see. Did that say silver or Japan? I can't tell. This one's from Japan. It's probably not real silver. Um, not real, not real gold for sure. This one says sterling on it, so that's got to be real sil silver. And then this one here has nothing. It's just pretty. All right. So I'm going to put that in my scrap because I have no doubt that's silver. And then we've got this JWV um, NLA. I guess it's um, a Jewish organization. There's the Star of David here um, with some laurels and a five in the middle. Um, and this says... 10 karat gold filled. All right, gold filled. Nice. And then there's this guy. And this pretty little art bead here. Neat. What's this? Okay. Not sure what that was. Probably a, a rose of some sort. It looks really, really, um, really beat up. Okay. So, here's a pair of what used to be beautiful earrings. I could probably glue that back in, actually, but, mm, I'll probably just repurpose them. Because the metal's damaged. Here's a little heart pin. These are really cool. These are really small um, seed beads, which if you don't know, I do bead work, so um, I will reuse these for sure in something really special, probably, because they're really old. Let's see. What's this? It's just this little earring. What does it say? Avon. Okay. Ravioli's trying to get up here again. <laughs> Hi, Rav. What's going on, baby? <laughs> you can't get up here. You got out. <laughs> you gotta get down. You crazy? Okay. Here is another butterfly. Just a butterfly brooch. Um. This looks like copper, but it feels like plastic. It's a little native guy in a canoe, which I can totally relate to that because I am native. And actually, um, the, the Wabanaki people here in Maine are the ones who invented the canoes. So we have Old Town Canoe up here in Maine. If you um, are a canoeing enthusiast, you know what Old Town Canoe is. So... Old Town Canoe um, used to be, well, I think still is headquartered um, very, very close to my reservation um, oops, uh, in Old Town, Maine. All right. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, there's no, there's no mate to it. So that'll be repurposed. There's a nice little box clasp here. Or like a, if you have a different term for that, let me know. That's cool. All right, let's look at this. What is this? Mm, 
Is it gold? I don't think it's gold. I'll test it anyways. Why not? So there is a beautiful... This would be great for Valentine's Day. It's a beautiful little mother of pearl heart with an arrow going through it. Cool. Um, here's a couple things. Mm. This one has a patent number in it. That's it. And they're too bright to be real gold. Um, here's um, a little pendant with a lady in it. Here is a mismatched earring. Um, it looks like some sort of like thorny branches. No mate. Here's another rhodium plated piece with no mate. That looks like maybe it's gold. So I'll test that. Thought I got a lot of testing to do in this video, huh? Um, here's a lovely flower. Um, this says 925 as well. So I do believe this is 925. Of course, if, if I was to scrap it out, I'd test it before I scrapped it out, before I cashed it in for scrap. Um, that's nothing too special. It's just a feather. That'll be repurposed. There's a lot of nice repurposed stuff here. Um, I don't know. I'll test that. What's this? Beautiful. Look how pretty that is missing a rhinestone. That's probably not precious metal, but it's cute. And there's just some little pieces here. Really pretty. Um, I don't suspect that that's precious metal either. None of that. Um, pretty little glass bead. can repurpose that. Um, is it real? I don't think it's a real pearl in there. This is not real either. There's that other feather. And there's that other Avon earring. Okay. What's this? Oh, it's a little butterfly. Hey, butterfly, what's up? and then there's this I look closely at the studs um, because sometimes they are precious metal this one is not I also reuse them and I mentioned in one of my other videos that um, some people don't know what to do with like the post earrings like the mismatched ones uh, I like to use them as tacks in my cork board um, they just look really cool and they serve a purpose so and I use them in collages as well this right here mm, I, at first I thought it was silver um, and now I don't think so but I'm gonna check it I'll check that here's a nice piece to reuse here's another little charm that I can repurpose Okay, cool. And then this one. Oh, what's this? Oh, they look like little, like tiny little, like wedding bands or something. Hmm. Okay, so I'll test that for silver. I'm not sure. And then this definitely looks like silver. It's a very, very broken chain. Um, but... I have a feeling it does say 925 Italy and that's probably way too small for you to see whoops um yes but 925 Italy so I believe that for sure all right so I'm gonna pause the video and get my stuff ready to test all this metal okay you guys Oop, so I have my 18 carat 
acid here to test for the silver. If it is sterling, it will turn blue. So let's start doing our scratches. I'm gonna start with this um, Napier piece, which if I had to guess, I would guess that this is not, but that's just me. And then the next one is this heart. Next one, let's do these little rings. This is tricky with long nails too. <laughs> That's not looking like precious metal at all. Not at all, I'm telling you. Alright. Next. This. Let's do it. order here. This box clasp. Okay, we got this bale. Got this ring with the weird naked guy on it. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of crazy, that guy. He needs to put some pants on. Alright, and now we have this. Alright, so I'm going to tell you right now what I think. I think all this will be silver except for those rings. So uh, let's do our test, it, our, our test, our acid test. I tried to say test and acid at the same time. Okay, well, let's do our test. All right, what's going on here? Okay, wow. So. That's silver, which is nice because that is a big chunk of silver. This is silver. This is not silver. This is not silver. This is silver. This is silver. This is silver. Bye bye naked guy. <laughs> and this is not silver. So there we have it. Cool. Now I'm going to pause this and get the gold test ready. Okay, so I'm going to give each one of these a scratch and then I'm going to start with the 10K acid test. So I'm going to do it up here because you don't want to mix these uh, acids together. So let's start with this bar thing. And this is not feeling like it. Um, so there's that. Here's this beautiful moon thing. So we'll test this. That's pretty. And then this. Okay. And then this. I have a feeling this one's a no. And then this teeny little thing. Tricky. This one's tricky. Okay, we got a little bit. And then this one. I have a feeling this one's also a no. It looks too shiny to be gold. Oh yeah, I'm gonna say that one's definitely a no. Alright, and the last one is this doodad. 
so. I'm gonna test that and the ball on it. Okay. There we go. This is a lot of work, you guys, just so you know. I'm gonna start with the 10K. Interesting. All right. So you can see that actually none of them disappeared with the 10K. That's very, very interesting. Oh, look, 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 look. You know what? And I remember Kristen D saying something about this, um, that you should um, wait when doing the gold test after you put the acid on wait and see if it disappears and she was right she was right about that she's right about everything i mean come on okay so elimination here elimination time this is not gold this beautiful little moon thing probably gold filled i don't know uh not gold I wouldn't sell it as gold. Not gold. This one right here, though, um, interestingly enough, did not disappear with the 10K. This right here did not disappear either. This one, this one actually did disappear. This is not gold. And then this, I tested the wire and that ball there. And neither one of those disappeared. So, let's actually get rid of this. Get a, get a new paper towel here. Okay. Woo. And I'm going to use a different part of the stone to test again. Okay. So I'm going to test only these three now. So I'm going to test this one. All right. And this one. This little, uh, you know, that little pendant. Okay. And this guy. And I won't bother testing both the wire and the ball because I think I have a good idea. All right, so now I'm going to do 14 carat. 14 carat acid. Here we go. Ready? And we'll give it a couple seconds here. Ravioli, what are you doing down there? Get out of there. Hey. Hey. Get out of there, crazy. You cute, but you crazy. Okay, so let's take a look-see. So it looks like... Hmm. Well, this is probably 10K, I would say. That one right there, that, that one I'm not really sure about. I'm going to actually get scratch that one again. I'm going to scratch it again and see what happens put the uh, the 14k on that one again actually can I just yep we'll just do that and I'll see because it's kind of still visible okay so we're gonna go higher with these two because they actually did not disappear And if you guys find this part boring, that's fine. That's fine if you skip it. Um, I think it's fascinating. That's just me. Okay. So now we're going to go for 18 carats. I'm actually going to use the other side, but I'm going to do it at the bottom here. Okay, there's that one. And... 
there's that one. So 18 carats now. Because this had, this had the 18 carat acid on it anyway, on this side. Okay. Well, those disappeared right away. So both of these are 14 carats. So that's really, really awesome. I was guessing that that was not gold at all, but, um, I mean, it just goes to show how much I don't know. So that's really cool. Pretty cool. I love it. All right. So that concludes my video and that concludes, um, both parts of that, um, um, jewelry search there, whatever we just did. <laughs> I'm not good at this, you guys. Um, I was thinking about, um, testing all this in a video, but I'm not sure. I might do it off camera and just kind of have a video showing you what I found out. Um, but this bag was in, um, this container with everything else. And it was just kind of separate from everything. And it looks like there might be some gold and silver in here. So I'm going to give those things a test at some point. Alright, so I'm going to go wrangle my crazy cat. Which means pick her up and hug her till she can't stand it any longer. Because that's what I do. <laughs> um, and I will see you next time. And please subscribe and like this video. Goodbye everybody.